Here's a one minute explanation of radiocarbon dating. Nearly 99% of the carbon that exists on Earth is what's called carbon 12, meaning it is 6 protons, 6 neutrons, and 6 electrons. Carbon 12 is a stable isotope, so it'll sit there and not change over time. There's another form of carbon that exists in trace amounts called carbon 14, which has 6 protons, 6 electrons, but 8, not 6 neutrons. And this version of carbon is radioactive, with a half life of 5,730 plus or minus 40 years. As a plant breathes in carbon dioxide, trace amounts of that carbon is C14, so when animals eat the plants, they too absorb the trace amounts of C14. When the plant or animal dies, they no longer are taking in new sources of C14. The radioactive C14 decays, and so about every 5,730 years, half of the C14 decays and becomes C12. Scientists are then able to detect how much C14 is still decaying, and then are able to work out how old that piece of organic material is. You can only radiocarbon date organic material such as plants and animal rains, not inorganic material such as rocks, because rocks don't breathe or eat. Also, the amount of C14 in the atmosphere has changed over time and isn't fully uniformly distributed. So the scientists calibrate the radiocarbon where they radiocarbon date tree 